We're about to watch an amazing rescue, all caught on camera. You saw those two dogs there? They helped save their owner who had a stroke, and it's all caught on the home's ring camera, as you're seeing in that video. Yeah, on your side's Eric Alvarez met the hero pups and the thankful owner, and she's telling her story only to First Coast News tonight. Mama loves you. Bella and Sadie, eight paws, two tails, one incredible story. The morning of December 3rd, their owner, Maureen Hatcher, collapsed from a stroke in her St. Augustine home. I just went face first into the floor. A clot cut off the blood flow to the right side of her brain. The clock was ticking. I remember Sadie coming in and I said, I need, mommy needs help. And then they were gone. Almost as if they knew they had to act quickly, Bella and Sadie ran off. The ring camera on the front door caught the moment the loyal pets dashed across the street to alert a neighbor. Moments later, she arrives at the house. After a few tense seconds and no answer at the door, she goes inside and calls 911. Paramedics came, but instead of taking her to the nearest ER, they recognized the signs of the stroke and rushed her to Baptist's Comprehensive Stroke Center in Jacksonville. When a stroke happens, time is everything. Dr. Nima Agahabraham says it's a decision that likely prevented permanent brain damage. Up until recently, it was believed patients that had gone untreated for as long as Hatcher were out of time. But doctors successfully removed the clot through a new procedure only specialists can pull off. This is a relatively new procedure. Using dye to find the clot, cutting into Hatcher's femoral artery in her leg, and maneuvering a stent retriever up to her neck to remove the clot. Something that up until a few years ago was unheard of. By doing that, we restore blood flow back to the brain. Now making this story even more unbelievable is Hatcher's door always locks automatically so she believes by pure chance, pure coincidence, it must have stayed slightly ajar that day to allow the dogs to get out. By rights, I shouldn't be in the shape that I'm in. So many things could have gone differently. The door could have been locked. Bella and Sadie could have stayed by Hatcher's side. The neighbor could have turned around and gone home. Luckily, Hatcher wasn't as alone as she thought. I had an angel across the street. I had a great rescue in the neighborhood and the hospital. And of course, Bella and Sadie. I'm blessed, very blessed. Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.